Do have a seat. If you'd like to join the kids' spot, do come down the front. Um, if you're kids and you'd like to join us, we're starting a new kids' spot today. So, new kids' spot series. Well done. Okay, fantastic. Now, let's see. This new kids' spot is going to be about a lot of different people throughout history who've done what we see on the screen there. Okay, so I'm going to read what we see on the screen, and I wonder if you've heard these verses before. They're quite famous verses from Matthew's Gospel. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20 say this. They say, Then Jesus came to them, that's his disciples, and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you, and surely... I'm with you always to the ends of the age. So Jesus called his disciples, his followers, his church, us, to go and make disciples of Jesus. Now, all of us are called to do that, but some people have a special calling to go to another place, another country, another language, another culture, and make Jesus known there. Now, does anyone know what those people are called? There's a name for people who go abroad to tell others the good news of Jesus. Oh, we got it from a grown-up somewhere. We did. What is it, John? Um, it's like they're like preachers, aren't they? They're, we got it. Someone in the in the congregation said it the right answer. It's missionaries. They're missionaries. Okay, so we're going to do a little series through the kids' spot of about six for about six weeks. Six famous missionaries, and our first famous missionary is this guy. Can you see him? He's called William Carey. Has anyone heard of William Carey? Should we look around at the grown-ups and see if any grown-ups have heard? Hands up, grown-ups, if you've heard of William Carey. There's a few. There's a few scatterings who's heard of him. This guy lived, well, how long ago did he live? He lived, my maths is not great, but I reckon, like, what, 200 and something? He's gone there just now? He lived or died 180 Okay, thank you very much. So, about 200 years ago, this guy lived, okay? And I'm going to read you a little bit from this book about him, to find out a little bit about him. So, it says, have you ever been to a different country on holiday? Ever been to a different country on holiday? Never. Never. Ever? Where have you been? India? Yeah. Yeah. Went to Corfu? Yes. I've been. I've not been to... Jessica? We went to France. Yeah, we went to France once. I thought you were going to say Wales. Um, <laughs> and uh, we remembered our passports when we went to Wales, didn't we? Uh, I was worried in the car on the drive. Oh, we've forgotten our passports, but we were all right getting into Wales. Okay, how did you get there? How did you, how did you get to India? Did you cycle? <laughs> you went on a plane. Okay, yeah, good idea to get a plane. It says nowadays it's easy to visit different countries. You could get a plane, couldn't you? You could get a boat, you could drive. When William Carey was alive, it was not easy at all. There were no buses or trains or cars or planes. Most people only travelled a few miles in their whole lives. I know some people like that in Cranfield. They never left Cranfield, mentioning no names. William was a shoemaker. Let's have a look at our shoes. He made shoes. He lived in a little English town. He had a wife and children, and he never travelled anywhere. But William knew people the other side of the world needed to know about his friend Jesus, and no one seemed to care about that. So William the shoemaker left his little town with his wife and children and travelled to India. He went to India on the other side of the world to tell people in India about his friend Jesus. He needed to learn their languages. He didn't speak English there. So he did. He learnt their languages. He needed to put the Bible in words they understood. So he did. He translated the Bible into their languages as well. He needed to print those Bibles. So he did. He did whatever he could to show people in India that they could, they could be Jesus' friends too. It was hard. It was really hard for him. It was hard for his wife and children as well. But he did it. Little by little, that's right, should we get a bit more than a, yay, <laughs> yay, exactly. Little by little, other people went to other countries too to tell them about Jesus as well, all because shoemaker William did it first. 
That's a good story, isn't it? A true story about William Carey who went and did that. Each of these little kid spot, kid spot sessions are going to finish, hopefully, with a quote, something this person said. And this is a famous quote from William Carey. Okay, it's a great quote. I read it to you. It says, he said this. He said, expect great things from God. Attempt great things for God. What does that mean? What do we think that means? He says, expect great things from God. Attempt great things for God. Who wants to tell me what they think that might mean? What does he mean by that? Maya, give it a go. Yeah, expect great things from God means God's amazing. We're going to be seeing that, the grown-ups are going to be seeing that this morning in our passage in Isaiah. God is amazing, so we should expect God to do amazing things. And when we expect God to do amazing things, that will help us to attempt to do amazing things for God. And that's exactly what William Carey did, wasn't it? He expected God to do amazing things, so he attempted things that were just crazy in his time. To go the other side of the world to share Jesus was a huge thing to do, but he expected God to help him in that. It's fantastic, isn't it? The life of William Carey. Let's pray about that now. Let's close our eyes, speak to God. Father God, thank you that you call us all to be your disciples and to make more disciples of Jesus. Thank you for people from the past, like William Carey, that went to other places to tell others the good, the fantastically good news about Jesus. Help us to be bold as we share Jesus with our friends as well. And help us to expect great things from you and to attempt great things for you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I agree. Amen. Fantastic. Now go back to your places.